Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is another Scala video. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how we can do a fat jar using Scala and assembly. I'm a big fan of fat jars for many reasons, but if we think about the operational perspective in sense of a DevOps and SRE, we have a much easier maintenance path so we can have a single binary to run the application. If we think about engineering perspective, this is great because we can simplify rollouts, you know, fixing bugs and migrations. And also we can make sure we do not introduce unwanted third-party dependencies on our class path. So today I want to show you guys how we can do that with Scala. So let's get started uh, and go to my simple POC. So here I have a project using Scala 2.13 um, and also SPT 1.5 and assembly. So let's go there. So opening my idea here, this is a SPT project, right? So first of all, we need to take a look on the build.spt uh, file. So on build.spt, what we have here is the name of the application, which in my case is fat jar minus assembly minus SPT minus 1.5.0. The version is 1.0 and the Scala version we use is 2.13.6. Right now it's the current latest uh, 2x version of Scala bes besides Scala 3. Um, then I'm gonna add a dependency here, a library dependency, which I got from MVM repository. And I'm using uh, common slang tree from Java. So I'm adding this dependence. And, and here is part of assembly configuration. But before I explain this bit of code, let's take a look in another file. So under the project directory, we need to create a file called assembly.spt. In assembly.spt, we're going to add a spt plugin, which is going to be assembly. So right now, this is the latest version, 0.15.0, right? And once we do that, we need to do some configs here. So this um, sort of a new SPT syntax. So here we are saying for the compile scope, the main class we are defining is, is this class called simple app. And for SPT, it is a SPT scope config. The main class for there is a simple um, app. Okay. And finally, there is a merge strategy where we can discard packages, we can combine packages, we can do some powerful uh, replacements. Right now, I'm just using the default here. Um, and that's all we need. Now, let's take a look uh, on the application. So under SRC main Scala, I have my simple app. It's a very, very simple app indeed. So I'm extending for an app. And I basically have two arrays here, array one and array two. And I'm, I'm creating these arrays with the values one, two, three. And then I'm calling array utils from uh, common slang tree and I'm checking if they have the same lane and we can run this code and we're gonna see that it works we can see array have the same lane uh, question mark true now let's generate our one single fat char okay so here I'm gonna run spt so I get into the SPT console, as you can see, I'm using SPT 1.5. Of course, I'm going to do compile, so we can compile the app, right? And then there is this command called assembly. Then we can run assembly, and that's it. So you can see that under the target directory, we got a fat jar assembly SPT 1.5 minus assembly 1.0 jar. We can customize that name if you want, right? But nevertheless, and now we can do Java minus jar, and I can pass this path, and oops, uh, this just got doubled, or um, yes, it got doubled here. Okay, now we have uh, it right. So I can run, and we can see uh, it works, right? So um, we can also check uh, the size of it, right? So if we go to Scala, uh, dot 13 and uh, so basically um, let me see here yes um, now to lose dot and then we're gonna look here is 6 mega so the original application is just uh, 3.2 kilobytes and this is 6 mega. It's, it's, it's a bit bloated because if we take a look on the jar to see what's there, right? 
we can realize that we have the whole Scala um, runtime there, right? Which is great because then it became a regular uh, Java application, but also we can see our commons link here as well, right? So it's a big uh, fat jar, right? So it works. So that's it for today. I hope you guys like it. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.